The vines are resting for the winter after a hot summer in Champagne. The grape harvest was early this year, and grower Jean-Pierre Vazat says that's happening more often. We have uh, some date of uh, harvest uh, earlier and earlier. But Vazat says climate change has not been bad for him so far. It's quite a, a good thing now. Uh, in the last uh, 15 years, we, are, we had a lot of good vintages. This far north, the vines can take the heat, says Arnaud Descote, technical director of the Comité Champagne Trade Association. For the moment, the effects are plutôt beneficial. At the moment, we don't mind the climatic changes. They translate into warmer temperatures, and that means higher potential alcohol levels in our wines. The picture is more mixed for the rest of the wine industry. France's Bordeaux and Loire regions stand to become too hot for grapes with climate change, according to a 2013 study. Italy's Tuscany region, too. But warmer temperatures are also opening up new winemaking frontiers. At a climate conference side event, Moet Hennessy wine division chief Jean-Guillaume Prats said the company has new vineyards in Inner Mongolia. Which is a very cool, excessive climate where we could not produce wine 30 years ago because simply it was too cold. In that part of the world, global warming has a key impact. Though winemakers may not be suffering the most from climate change, the industry says it's doing its part to cut greenhouse gases. To reduce energy for shipping, Champagne makers shaved 65 grams off each bottle. Not a lot, but for us, 300 millions of bottles uh, in a year, uh, it's, uh, it's heavy. Altogether, the industry has cut its carbon footprint by 15% per bottle. It's getting down to the wire at the Paris Climate Talks. We'll soon know if that bottle of champagne is for celebrating or for drowning sorrows. Steve Barragona, VOA News, Paris.